Welcome back, you guys. Summer is here and showing us how to grow delicious and juicy watermelon. And you don't even need a garden to do it is Shirley Bob. Can you believe Shirley. that? I can't believe that. I always get so excited when I bring these types of segments because people are like, really? Yes. I know. It's exciting. You know, the watermelon is the fruit for summer, right? Yeah. Everybody celebrates so with a good. delicious for picnic. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, usually we're used to these huge, big watermelons right, right, that true. are like 15, 20 pounds. But there's actually a very small mini, uh, I was gonna say cucumber, yeah. because it is related to the cucumber. Yeah, that's right. It looks yes. like a cucumber in a way, a fat yes. one. Yes, <laughs> this is called a sugar baby, and it grows like a vine, just like this, though this might need a 20 by 20 area for maybe a few pumpkin, a pumpkin, get, where, where am I? Oh wait, it's Fenway pumpkin, Park. it's a cucumber. Fenway oh. Park, that's where I am. <laughs> that's right, this only needs a small little three by three or four by foot area, and I'm gonna show you how to grow these vertically. I it's buy really these, cool. by the way. I prefer these over the big ones because they don't have the big black seeds in them. Do they, they taste different? Like, no. Oh, they taste so, those out. Do you want to find let out? Me, let me dig in and just give it a go. It is so, you can, you can, Ooh, you, we eat yeah. and sample here while we sure. work. Mm. So it's really cool because no they seeds. are vines. Oh no, it's delicious and it's sweet. So what you need, guys, is you need an area in your patio or balcony or in your yard if you have a little corner that gets a lot of sunshine. We're talking full day, at least eight hours, and wait until the temperatures are around 70 degrees in the summer because this is a, 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 a crop that needs a lot of heat to grow sweet. Okay. Okay, so if you've got those things and you got a small little area like this, I can't even put this on. And up. you need some gloves, then, maybe, then, that yeah, can go on your hands? Then you can actually grow them. I, don't that. Care. I only you, need one. I know, what I do you need, need it for? Holly, you just moved into a new house, and you're actually interested in gardening, right? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I, you I learn? don't have a green thumb at all, so like, you I don't really need, need one. to pay attention. No, 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 you no, just no. have to listen to Shirley. Yeah, just listen, grow to me, anyway. listen to me. Okay, guys, here's what you're going to need. You're gonna need a couple of, uh, or two or three pallets because what we're doing is we're raising our planter. Here's our whiskey barrel. You need, to, need it to be nice and big, maybe about 24 inches wide. And so now we've raised it so high because these are vines. Okay, and then I filled it with a special potting soil. Now, this is really important, guys, especially if you're gonna grow the mini uh, watermelons in a, in a container, container soil, it really tends to dry out quickly. The reason why I like Edna's Organic is because it has yucca extract. Interesting. And, and yucca extract yeah. is what re-wets the soil, mm -hmm. helps it to stay moist. So you guys wanna learn how to yeah, do this? Yes. All right. The yucca extract is what makes it like, you know sometimes when you're pouring, I learned this from yes. another segment Shirley did. Yes. <laughs> when you're pouring water on your plant and it's really hard and it seeps down the sides and yes. doesn't go in the middle, it's because it doesn't have enough yucca. It doesn't oh. have any. It's Probably. because of yes. I know yes. that because of Shirley. That's, oh honey, you're learning. I love it. <laughs> Okay. We live, we laugh, we learn on this yes, show. Yes, we do. And we eat a lot. That's right. And okay, so here we go. We've got our little plant. And what I'm going to do is I got this. This is also really important for a plant like this. This is a starter fertilizer. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it, you notice I'm putting it right on the roots. Because in order for a plant to set roots, it needs to um, get some nit it needs nitrogen and needs phosphorus. That's what really gives it the energy to go. But science. yeah, it is science. It really it's kind of geeky and fun. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? It's not strong enough. Those are not mature roots. So I give it the nitrogen and phosphorus. Like, here, baby, this right. is for you. And I tuck it in. So who so wants to get dirty? Come on. Okay, yeah, oh, sure. yeah get right, right in there. Come on over right. here. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to space this. Bring it over here, and I'm going okay. to dust it for you. Right. Let me move it. And they're going to have enough space right here. in here? Yes. You I can get three it. of them in this spot. Okay, I'll make the hole, and you put it in. Okay. There you go. So how in. long from when you plant them till you can harvest them? These are about 70 days. I'll take one more, and then you are ready to... Um, to take it out. Some of this. You want so just over two months. That's not even that's that long. It. You hold this. No, oh, it's no, not I long thought, at all. But for a watermelon, it would take like, I don't know, I six know. months. I'm very excited, you guys, about what we're going to do next because it's really the design of how you can maximize your space. Okay, so we've got okay. three watermelon vines. Now we're going to do something. We're going to tell it to grow up, but not only are we going to tell it to grow up, here's what's going to happen. Tomato cage, as this starts to vine, 
It's gonna come up, and I have a picture. Let's see the picture of my design. There we go. Oh, Shirley, Check that that's out. beautiful. It's not only gonna grow up this tomato vine, but I mean, tomato support, it's also gonna cascade down. And I am- Wait a minute. Yes, honey. I mean, we Tell did me grow up already. Wait, no, I did that. I, I, do, but I did that for you. Mark. I did that for no, Mark. But, look but at how is that possible, Shirley? How are they not gonna be so heavy that they're gonna fall? Believe it or not, I'm sorry, we're getting in no, front of you. Okay. What happens is the uh, tendrils and all of the Are vines, they? they become very, very strong. So if this is trained to grow up, you can almost wedge it here. Uh, the tendrils become strong, but I have a tip. And the tip is this, get some pantyhose, tear it up, make a sling, and then tie it here so that it will hang. And that's what everybody does in the garden. Oh, but wow. what's cool is not only you have it up here, but look, when it comes vining down, just set it. Here, it doesn't even take up space on your floor. And I think it's Look beautiful. At this. It's kind of like an art piece. It really yeah. is. Backyard. You know what, Ali? Good idea. You can even paint your palettes a cool color. Make a sculpture. And right? you, you did awesome. say that it had to be, it needs hot temperatures above yes. 70, but can it grow anywhere? Yes, as long as you have at least 70 days of heat. Okay. So if you have a long growing season, uh, you're fine. If you have a short growing season, get them started. ASAP yeah. right now. Now's but the yeah. time to plant. Yeah, then you can harvest them in August. It'll be great.